And we'll just give it one more minute and then we'll begin. Welcome to today's Building Better Business webinar. I'm Kristen Johnson, Director of Communications here at Better Business Bureau Serving Connecticut. Christy Dumas, the Associate Director of Business Engagement is also here to answer any of your questions that you might have regarding your accreditation. This webinar will be recorded and shared on our website. And I will go ahead and put that website in the chat as soon as we get going. And we're also going to send a recap email with a link to this recording. So let's get started. The relationship between work and well-being has really come into focus, and we know it can be a huge factor in job satisfaction. Prioritizing wellness and engaging employees in their own healthcare journeys is an important part of workplace culture. This encompasses both physical and mental health. So today we're going to go over the benefits of promoting wellness in the workplace, as well as a unique opportunity you'll have to bring those benefits into your business and to your employees through your accreditation. Dr. Marla Roscoe, co-founder and CFO of NOLA Wellness in New Haven, will lead today's discussion. Marla specializes in physical therapy and acupuncture. She has a passion for helping people see their potential through their healthcare journey. Today, she's going to discuss the opportunity business owners have to better engage and support their teams through wellness. And if you have any questions along the way, please put them in the chat and Marla will answer them at the end. Marla, thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much, Kristen. I really appreciate that wonderful welcome and this opportunity to be able to share something I'm so passionate about. Wellness is certainly something that is at the forefront of my thinking every day. Although I am traditionally trained, um, wellness has really become this, this trending topic. And so I'm really happy to be able to share with some of the other accredited businesses here about why we should be valuing wellness in the workplace. So I'm going to get started and share my screen. Okay. So here we are. So let me tell you a, a little bit about me beyond what Kristen mentioned. As she said, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I'm also an acupuncturist. And I started my career in a traditional uh, medical setting, but very quickly realized that we can do more to be more proactive with our health instead of so reactive. And so my passion for wellness began very, very early on, which is really what spurred my licensure into acupuncture um, and to um, creating NOLA Wellness, which you'll hear a little bit about later on. So when we talk about wellness in the workplace, we're really talking about this decision um, to promote and maintain overall health of all of our members of our organization. I'm really excited that corporate wellness has grown by about 30% over the last decade. And we see this demand as this trend continues to grow. And so I applaud you for jumping on to this webinar to learn a little bit more about why we should be valuing wellness in our workplace um, and why your employees are going to think it's so vitally important. So what is wellness? When we talk about wellness, we're really talking about these eight pillars that encompass everything from emotional, social, spiritual, intellectual, environmental, physical, professional, financial support. Um, and people are really looking to be supported within each of these eight pillars. And I'm not saying that we need to do that within the workplace hitting all eight pillars, but targeting many of them so that people can really feel this sense of of balance and wholeness and, and health as they are going through life, establishing that work-life balance. We're really looking at this holistic integration of body, mind, and spirit to allow people to be the most um, 
able and the most well, whether they are in their personal life or in their professional life. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here on this slide. Um, it is really, really important. If you look to the far right side of your screen, this is what's trending with employees. And I think it's really important that as business owners, I myself am a small business owner accredited with the BBB. And it's really important for us that we are in touch with what our employees are feeling because that directly impacts our, our business's bottom line, our business's culture. Um, the draw to our business. And so you're looking at things like productivity, personal and professional job growth, um, satisfaction, retention. They are all strongly linked to a company's emphasis on well-being. And I want to just stop for a moment. When I say well-being, I'm talking about the things far beyond offering traditional benefits that we think of when we think of healthcare benefits. This is not just medical, vision, dental. This is what are we doing beyond to really focus on the whole person, that body, mind, spirit connection. As a small business owner, I appreciate that I want my employees to come to work happy and ready to go, right? We want them to be effective and really efficient, productive employees. That helps our bottom line. We also want them to feel this sense of pride and happiness when they talk about where they're working. This helps with talent acquisition. And if your job, your business is anything like my business, it's been hard lately to establish um, a pool of really strong candidates when you're trying to onboard new people to the team. And so when you have current team members talking in such a positive way about your business, because their level of satisfaction with their job is so high, it really helps that talent acquisition process. And also retention. It helps that employee want to stay working hard for your business. Decades ago, I think people were just very, very dedicated and very loyal to the businesses that they worked for. And they appreciated that there would be sort of this ebb and flow kind of situation where they may not always love their job. But where we sit in today's market, that employee is oftentimes unwilling to just go the distance with the company. They're looking for what is the next thing that's coming down the road. What can this company offer me where I'm not getting here so that they can feel more satisfied? And so as we talk today about wellness in the workplace, I'm able to um, talk to you about some of the things that we can do to really help to pe people to feel more satisfied. And I don't think we can talk about wellness in the workplace without talking about what the workplace looked like pre and post COVID. Pre COVID, I don't think we realized exactly how, how good we had it, right? Employees were coming to work all of the time or most of the time, happy to work, ready to work. And then the pandemic hit. And businesses, whether we want to admit it or not, are still feeling the effects of post COVID life and post-COVID business. Now, as we transition to ask employees to come back to either a hybrid work schedule or a fully in-person work schedule, again, just like we did pre-COVID, there is a little bit of pushback. Um, if your business is, is anything like the businesses that I've spoken to, that might be some of the experience that you're having. People are looking, well, what are you going to do to entice me to be able to come back? They want to be able to be seen and realize that beyond those traditional medical benefits, we are really looking at the social emotional component, that work life balance, those proactive things that we can do to help people feel really good in their body and in their mind. And so post COVID, people are really paying attention to wellness. I think the idea of self-care is absolutely a trending topic. And not only in personal life, but employees are almost expecting to see that as an offering in their professional life as well. And as we go through some of the ideas that I bring forward, which were 
at one point ways to make your business stand out truly have now become the norm. And if if businesses are not offering something additional to their employees, it really serves as a deficit. And when we start to talk about some of the trending numbers, um, I think that point will really, really be proven. A little bit later in this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about some of the ways that NOLA Wellness can offer you an ability to promote wellness within your workplace, either on site or off site. But either way, I hope that you take away the feeling that giving a little bit of time and attention towards wellness has absolutely become crucial. And it doesn't necessarily have to be so overwhelming and so overbearing when we think about what we can offer to our employees. Simple things like ways to promote physical activity, providing mental health uh, resources, and a really positive work environment. And there's countless ways to do these things. But we know that collectively, those are really going to increase an employee's feeling of satisfaction in their job and their personal overall well being. When someone is feeling better, they are just going to perform better. And as business owners, that is, a, that is always our desire, right? We always want our employees happy and performing with their best skill. So let's take a little bit of a look at the numbers here. So this first statistic is pretty staggering to me. 87% of employees consider health and wellness offerings when they are choosing an employer. So this speaks to my point. When I said that these, ex these things that were once extras now have become the norm, this statistic proves that. 87 is such a large number of people who are looking at what are you offering beyond the traditional medical benefits that are going to help with my overall longevity. This next one is a little bit scary for me as a business owner. So 44% of employees shared that on the previous day of work, they are feeling stress. And 40% of those same employees also repeated, uh, reported feeling worried. So now you have about 40 to 44% of the workforce feeling stressed and worried every single day when they come into work. Again, when I think about life post-COVID, we know that social emotional needs are very high. And this statistic speaks to that. For my liking, 40 to 44% is entirely too close to 50. So we're thinking just under 50% of employees are dealing with stress and worry. And how does that impact their performance? Chances are we're looking at increased rates of absenteeism, decrease productivity, decrease efficiency, maybe a decrease ability to contribute to that positive work culture or that positive community that you're trying to foster within your buildings or within your online spaces. And so stress and worry really have a negative impact. And when you think of such a high percentage of employees dealing with that, you can see how that can absolutely snowball and affect productivity, efficacy, and culture. 67% of employees say that they like their job when their company is offering some type of wellness program. This makes sense to me. When an employee feels heard, when an employee feels seen, they're going to have an increased ability to work hard for their company, to make sure that they are putting forth their best effort because they feel like it is this give and take. I think gone are the days when employees were happy to just be able to come to work because they had a job. We now, unfortunately, as business owners are having to go that extra mile to entice employees to remain employed with us, to work hard for us, and to want to come to work and be excited to come to work every single day. And so by offering some wellness programs, either inside of business hours or outside of business hours, it really gives us 
an amazing ability to be able to turn the statistic of what we see previously of this 40 to 44 percent of very stressed, worried employees to a much happier employee uh, just through some simple wellness based offerings. This next one may or may not come to you as a little bit of a surprise. 58% of millennials think that company wellness programs are an essential consideration when looking for a job. And I am going to bring your eyes back to that word essential. This to me says that it is top on their priority list when they are choosing which company that they would like to work for or not. And again, this speaks to that point of this is no longer the added extra. This is the expectation. So generations, millennials and younger are absolutely prioritizing their wellness. We see it in so much of the research and so much of the data. I think it's amazing. But as a business owner, I think it's also very eye-opening that I can lose a very valuable talented employee just because of the things that I'm not offering outside of traditional offerings. Some of the different ways that we can think about wellness, thinking about flexible work arrangements, which I'm sure many of you have engaged in, especially in this post-COVID world, talking about that hybrid schedule where ask, you're asking people to maybe come into the office for a sort uh, certain days of the week and then being able to have that flexibility of working off-site in the other remaining days of the week, integrating some mindfulness programs, fitness challenges, or move your body kind of challenges. Those things, when they're done collectively within a department or company-wide, also foster a lot of really great community energy. But one of the things I will point out is that I understand from the business perspective, these are things that oftentimes do take away from the workday. And so it's important to be able to offer this balance of what can be done within the workday to foster that feeling of satisfaction, happiness, and well-being. And then what are some of the things, the out-of-the-box ways that we can offer wellness outside of the work hours. And hopefully you'll agree with me when I say this is one of the ways that NOLA Wellness can help you in that aspect. So up until this point, we've really just talked about data related to the employee. What is in it for the employee? I think it's also really important to look at what is in it for the employer, right? This is a mutual beneficial relationship here. And we know that without productive employees, our businesses don't run. But also, it is important as business owners, as CEOs, that we are looking at our bottom lines and how do we keep our doors open and thriving. And so this graph that you have in front of you here is looking at employers who have implemented wellness programs and the positive impacts that they've had within their companies. You're looking at a range from 2015 to 2019, which is the most current data that we have here um, under this research. So you can see here, we'll look at 2019. When an employer implements a wellness program and implements it pretty consistently throughout the business year, we're looking at an 83%. Oh, excuse me. We're looking at 83% of health, right? So here at the bottom of our screen, we see our three indicators. We're looking at health of the employee in the dark blue. The light blue is going to be productivity. And then the gray is going to be the cost in terms of health care. So 83% of employees had overall better health. What does that mean? They are taxing the healthcare system less. And if you are a self-insured company specifically, you know exactly what that means. Less dollars being spent out for healthcare costs. It means more productive time at work, right? These are things that are really vital to the business bottom line. When we look at productivity, increased by 84%. This speaks to that mind-body connection when people feel like their social emotional needs are being taken care of. There's a significant increase in productivity. 
as a business owner, what do we want more than a happy, productive employee? I would say probably not much, right? Um, other than a really robust bottom line, but really important to be able to put these programs in place so that employees are really able to thrive and perform at their highest level. And then we see a 72% reduction in healthcare costs. That's significant just by being able to implement a wellness program. And again, this is not a one-off wellness program. This isn't something that's done twice a year. It is something that is done consistently so that people are feeling like these needs are continually being met. It also helps to really foster a really nice relationship between the employer and the employee. Something that's not pictured here, but you can absolutely read into it from this data. You can imagine with better health, we're going to have less stressed employees, less sleep deprived employees, less burnt out employees. That is directly proportionate to a reduction in road accidents. I mention that because some of your businesses may deal with people who are on the road. I'm assuming that would be an incredible cost for your business. It's also costly when an employee has to be out because they were engaged in some type of an accident. And so when we are able to do things that indirectly impact our employees, it is going to directly impact our business in the most positive way. We also know that healthier employees are less likely to take sick leave, less likely to have injuries because they're really taking that proactive approach to their care of their body and their mind. So that's less engagement through workman's comp and things like that. It is really, really helpful to keeping our employees very happy and helping to reduce spend in certain areas. I mentioned this earlier, but happy employees, they're the best type of marketing for talent acquisition. Word of mouth is so powerful when it's being used in, in a positive way. And so happy employees are going to talk about how wonderful it is to work for your company and what are the benefits additionally that you're getting through working for this company and telling all of their friends, their families, their peers why they should also come. And so that helps with talent acquisition and also retention. Of course, that's going to reduce absenteeism, like I've mentioned previously, which I know is a trend, ongoing trend in the wrong direction. As employers, we see that often. And happy employees are just going to increase morale of your community. Creating that space where people want to come to work is a really incredible, powerful thing. So who are we at NOLA Wellness? You've already heard a little bit about me. Again, I'm Marla. Here pictured is my partner, Joy, Joy Consiglio. She is a licensed massage therapist and a licensed occupational therapy assistant. We actually met decades ago working in a subacute rehab center in a very traditional setting. But she, like I, really believe in this proactive approach to healthcare, this proactive approach to wellness, and honestly, a proactive approach to life. We offer a really extensive service menu at NOLA Wellness, and we're really proud to boast that every single employee has either a license or a certification, which makes them an expert in their field. This allows us to really be able to customize treatment plans and be able to hear what your employees are asking for so we can meet their individual needs and their individual goals. NOLA Wellness is located in New Haven, Connecticut, and uh, we are a small female owned business and we are really proud of that. So what are some of the things that we offer? So this is a sampling here, and I wanted to target mostly what would um, benefit your employees most. So I first will bring your attention to the left side of the screen. You see our salt cave there. It's something we're really proud of. We commissioned it out of Canada. It took seven days to build, and it's 360 degrees of Himalayan salt. You see there our water feature. And so if you can imagine what it's like to be in a cave in nature, you think of that dripping coming down. This is exactly what we are recreating here through our water feature. The water is going to hit the Himalayan salt and release negative ions into the air. And it's the 
breathing in of those negative ions or them touching your skin that is really, really uh, impactful in terms of therapeutic value. But because we want to really ensure that people are having the most efficient session as they sit here for about 45 minutes in this very tranquil environment. We have added a medical grade halo generator. So oftentimes you can hear salt cave being called halo therapy. This is when it utilizes a halo generator, which takes medical grade salt, pulverizes it, puffs it into the air again, allowing more negative ions to be released to really ensure that therapeutic value. You're probably thinking, okay, great. It's a Zen environment, but why do I really care? This is great for helping to heal and promote clearing of the respiratory system, amazing for the skin. It is quite grounding. So people who suffer from mood disorders, seasonal disorders, it is very zen, so it also will reduce anxiety being in this room. Also really great for boosting immunity. So a lot of benefits here that you can imagine are really, really positive contributors to helping to keep your employees really, really happy. You can see here on the right side, we also offer massages in our salt cave. It's something special that we do, so I just put it up there. Down on the bottom of the screen, you see that we have a representation of cryotherapy. We have two forms of cryotherapy at NOLA Wellness. One is a whole body electric cryotherapy. If you think of a space shuttle and stepping in, that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, cryotherapy is cold therapy. The benefits are going to be to increase circulation, increase healing, increase blood flow, increase mood, increase your immunity. So a lot of really systemic benefits. We also have the ability for people to take uh, treatment to a localized area. Say, for example, one of your employees hurts their back. We're able to just work on the back to promote healing, you know, reduce muscle spasm and things of that nature. You also see here that we offer um, cryofacials, which are a new offering for us, which we're really excited about, which more in the aesthetics realm of things. We also offer traditional facials as well. But again, more for those fine lines, wrinkles, just a moment for your employee to just relax and um, you know take their mind, rejuvenate, rejuvenate their body. In the center of the screen, you see our red light cocoon pod. This is like a dry sauna, essentially, delivering red light to the body. Red light is amazing for improved circulation, healing, detoxification, really great for the skin. People who suffer from different skin conditions really find this to be incredibly helpful. And just when you combine the red light with the vibratory and heat components that this machine offers, it's incredibly relaxing as well. So for people who've had a really stressed out week, if they've been putting in long hours and they're feeling fatigued mentally, physically, this is a great way to combat that as well. And then up at the top, you see two different massage pictures. One is massage via chair massage, which is one of the things that we offer when we do sort of NOLA on the go. That's us coming to you to offer your employees um, opportunity to have wellness during the day. And then you see our traditional massage here. I'm really proud of the fact that we employ really skilled massage therapists that are highly certified in a variety of things, everything from myofascial release to prenatal to lymphatic. And of course we offer deep tissue therapeutic massage and Swedish massage, which is that sort of relaxation massage as well. So this is a little bit about what we offer at NOLA and why it can be really beneficial to your employees. You see that a lot of our modalities are really going to target entire systems of the body. And we know that when we entire, um, excuse me, target entire systems of the body, it's just going to promote increased health overall. Again, contributing to that happy, healthy employee. So what are we offering? I understand that as a new, as a business owner, it can feel overwhelming to think, okay, this is one more thing on my plate. I value wellness, but how am I going to implement it? We're hoping that we can help. I've already mentioned that we're happy to come to you to do things like chair massage and some of our more portable modalities if you're wanting to implement sort of like a wellness day. 
But we have these tiered memberships, four of them to be specific. And you'll see that they are based off of employee numbers. They're including all of the memberships, uh, excuse me, all of the memberships include all of our modalities. And then there's an additional discount for the license driven services. All of the pricing has been significantly reduced for the accredited businesses through the Better Business Bureau. We really appreciate what it means to be a part of this organization and what is done for us through the Better Business Bureau. And so we're happy to be able to offer you, our fellow accredited businesses, a really significant discount to be able to bring these wellness things to your employees. What I also love about this is in the chat, you'll see a form that you can fill out and we can talk specifically what it should look like for your business. How can we customize it and really get your employees access to the things that are really going to help to make them feel really good. I also appreciate that a lot of the things that we've talked about are probably things that are happening after hours. And so you're able to get a lot of that benefit of a really productive employee for their full workday and then allowing them to feel rejuvenated um, after work. That is pretty much all that I have for you today in terms of what it is like for wellness in the workplace. I just really wanna thank you for your time. We really look forward to the opportunity to be able to partner with you and your business and help to create happy, healthy employees that are really going to positively benefit your business. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And I'd urge you to follow us on social media. So that's at NOLA Wellness on all things social. And again, please make sure you check out that form that's in the chat so I can answer your questions in terms of how NOLA can help your business. Thanks so much for your time. And Kristen, Christy, thank you so much for this opportunity. It's amazing. So I'll give it a second in case someone wants to ask a question. I have a question, Marla, and, and you can ask a question of Marla or of Christy about your accreditation too. She'll be looking in the chat, but Marla, I have a question. So you showed the stats, obviously, the younger generations are expecting this sort of investment. Millennials, I think you said 58%. I'm guessing Gen Z would be an even higher percentage. So if you're a business that has never really thought about this before until now, like where do you start? Like what, what's the most impactful first step? Or do you, it, does it depend on who, who you employ? Do you, do you do a survey of your employees? What, what do you suggest? I think it absolutely depends on who you employ because right now it is wellness month. We are currently working with several businesses and we've really looked at their business demographic, their employee demographic. So we have some people where we're doing more mindful things, um, the vibro acoustic mat and things of that nature. And then the younger demographic, they are expecting the kit and caboodle of services to be brought to them. And so I think a survey would be amazing. Um, but knowing that having a little bit of a plan of what you would want to offer, because I think if you offer people the world, they would intentionally, unintentionally maybe want to take the world. Um, mm -hmm. And so I think there's a lot of things that can be done, even just little programs. I know one of the things that I did was help to write a newsletter for a couple of the businesses that they sent out at the beginning of wellness month, like I said, which is February as a way to kick it off. And there were a few simple things in there. Go for a walk with a coworker, take a few minutes to do some intentional breathing, guided meditation during your lunch break or during your uh, traditional breaks. Those things don't cost your company a lot of money, but they have a lot of value. And so starting small, I think can be amazing. And I also think if you are working with millennials, Gen Z, they are looking for more. And so this is where something like this partnership with NOLA could be really, really helpful. And it doesn't take uh, much effort from the company's perspective because we really have it all tailored for them. Well, I have put a website in the chat. It's the BBB events page. So go ahead and check that out. Um, you're going to see future webinars and in-person events like our Elevate series. And the next Elevate series will actually be at NOLA Wellness. It's scheduled for March 21st, and it's um, in celebration of Women's History Month. So more details about that will be coming, and we will be emailing those out as well as putting it on our website. But Marla, thank you so much again for being with us today and sharing your insight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And if anyone has any questions, happy to field those as well. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.